This is Armed Forces Chamber Live! Yo, listen up. It's a tale of success. A radio talk show. No need to guess. Salute and success. Hosted by the best. Andre Hing, Pats and Brown. Put your hands to your chest. Tune in, lock in, prepare to be impressed. Salute and success where dreams manifest. We stand for the anthem and respect all vets. Armed Forces Chamber. You are listening to Armed Forces Chamber Live. Hosted by Andre Haynes and Patsy Brown. This episode of Armed Forces Chamber Live is sponsored by Drone Video Photography, LLC, a veteran-owned business specializing in construction and real estate, video and photography, and video production. Drone Video Photography, LLC, is online at dronevideophotographyllc.com. That's dronevideophotographyllc.com. Shout out to new and renewing members of the Armed Forces Chamber of Commerce, including AARP Nevada, Couponing for Students, Dr. Erica Smith, Drone Video Photography, LLC, FMF24, Fashion, Music, Film, Holderman Realty Group, Hunter Kane, Las Vegas Clark County Library District, Ron Quince, Silver State Schools Credit Union, Stephanie Phillips, Stuff Belly's Hunger Relief Charity, The Haynes Company, The Trophy Stop, United Nissan, Veterans World Magazine, and Voice of the Veteran. Our special guest is from Air Force Wounded Warrior, AFW2. And we will be talking about the Air Force and Marine Corps trials in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plus, the Air Force Wounded Warrior Program, and the Wounded Warrior Project. We will be right back with more of... Armed Forces Chamber Live! Underwriting on KUNV is provided by the Armed Forces Chamber of Commerce. Since 2017, the Armed Forces Chamber has served veterans, service members, and their families. Members of the Armed Forces Chamber enjoy help with certifications, education, funding, marketing, networking, and so much more. Membership is open to everyone. Details online at armedforceschamber.com. That's armedforceschamber.com. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by Hunter Kane and the Armed Forces Chamber. Hi, I'm Hunter Kane. March 25th is observed as Medal of Honor Day. Some ask, hey Hunter, what's the Medal of Honor? The Medal of Honor is the United States Armed Forces' highest military decoration. It is only awarded to soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, and guardians who have risked their lives going above the call of duty. On behalf of my fellow veterans, I wish a happy Medal of Honor Day to all recipients from Hunter Kane in the Armed Forces Chamber. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by the Haynes Company. You have the power to seal eviction records, and the Haynes Company is here for you. The Haynes Company seals eviction records. Help is available by phone at 833-HAINES-7. That's 833-429-6377. The Haines Company is not an attorney and cannot provide legal advice or representation. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by the Vietnam War Veterans Day event plus the Armed Forces Chamber. The Vietnam War Veterans Day event features a special ceremony and 25 veteran service providers. On Friday, March 29th, at the Fraternal Order of Eagles, presented by the Hospice Veteran Partnership and Vietnam Veterans of America. Underwriting on KUMV is provided by Dr. Erica Smith and the Armed Forces Chamber. Hi, I'm Dr. Erica Smith. The month of March is observed as Women's History Month. Some ask Dr. Erica Smith, what is Women's History Month? Women's History Month celebrates the contributions women have made to the United States and recognize the specific achievements women have made over the course of American history. Happy Women's History Month from Dr. Erica Smith and the Armed Forces Chamber. 
underwriting on KUNV is provided by the Happiest Hour and Networking Event, plus the Armed Forces Chamber. The Happiest Hour and Networking Event is a B2B networking event that features over 30 local business organizations supporting local business. On Friday, March 22nd, at the Noy Pitts Bar and Grill, located inside Town Square, brought to you by Invictus Consulting. And now we return to Armed Forces Chamber Live! This episode of Armed Forces Chamber Live is sponsored by Drone Video Photography, LLC, a veteran-owned business specializing in construction and real estate, video and photography, and video production. Drone Video Photography, LLC, is online at Drone Video Photography, LLC.com. That's Drone Video Photography, LLC.com. My name is Walt Myrie with the Air Force Wounded Warrior Program. What is the Air Force Wounded Warrior Program and how is it different from the Wounded Warrior Project? Boy, that is a question we get asked often. Um, and, and, you know, it's really interesting because the Wounded Warrior Project, being a 501c3 nonprofit organization, differs from us greatly. We are congressionally mandated and federally funded to provide uh, exceptional service to wounded, ill, and injured service members who are very seriously injured or seriously injured uh, or going through turbulence that just makes their life super challenging. So um, that distinction is really important for people to understand. Um, we are not the nonprofit. You're not going to get a backpack from us, but you are going to get uh, some exceptional service and support as you go through whatever turbulence you happen to be in. Is the program only for Air Force wounded in combat? So I'm glad you asked that question, Andre. No, you do not have to be combat injured to be enrolled in our program. Um, anything from wounds, illnesses, or injuries are enrollable. Uh, it's really a very simple process. You can Anybody can refer somebody to the program. They simply go to our website at woundedwarrior.af.mil. And in the upper right-hand corner, there's a refer an airman uh, button. You click that button and it takes you to an enrollment form. Uh, and then our enrollment cell really does the yeoman's work of evaluating what the conditions are and, and the whole entire scenario to determine whether or not somebody can be enrolled in the program. But uh, the short answer is no, you do not have to be combat injured. Is there a way for people to help out the program through volunteering or other means? There are lots of ways that you can help our program uh, if you have an interest in doing so. Um, simply knowing about our program and spreading by word of mouth the good things that we're doing, uh, referring people to the website at woundedwarrior.af.mil, being conscious of the fact that you can refer an airman or a guardian that happens to be uh, going through uh, you know, a scenario where they would need our services and getting them to the website for referral is great. I mean, if you're talking about volunteering, every time we do an event, and we do about six events a year, uh, where we look for volunteers and others uh, at base level to help us uh, execute the events. We call them care events. I mean, really, we bring people from all over the country into specific areas of the region, a, a particular base that we've selected. And we, uh, we host an event that exposes them to different ways they can be resilient in their recovery. We help them with employment and education opportunities. Uh, we help the people who are caring for them through the process um, of, of getting referred to organizations that are local to where they live that can help them be a better caregiver, a better person to support the wounded ill or injured airman or guardian. Um, and adaptive sports, it's, it's really a big piece of what we do, what we discovered over time, and we've been doing this for the better part of a decade and a half now, uh, and discovered over time that if you keep people active uh, once they've been wounded or injured or identified and, you know, kind of in this turbulent state, if you keep them actively engaged with something, um, they fare much better in their recovery and they're much more resilient and resurgent in their recovery. So adaptive sports is a big piece of that. Uh, we train to uh, Paralympic style sports, uh, the event that we're going to be doing there in Las Vegas here shortly, um, the Air Force and Marine Corps trials this year, 2024, and uh, we're going to be uh, challenging people in different areas, 11 different adaptive sports that they'll be competing in uh, for personal records and to do their best to try and get on the Air Force or the Marine Corps team that will ultimately compete in the DOD Warrior Games later this summer. We will be right back with more of 
Armed Forces Chamber, live! Underwriting on KUNV is provided by the Armed Forces Chamber of Commerce. Since 2017, the Armed Forces Chamber has served veterans, service members, and their families. Members of the Armed Forces Chamber enjoy help with certifications, education, funding, marketing, networking, and so much more. Membership is open to everyone. Details online at armedforceschamber.com. That's armedforceschamber.com. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by Hunter Kane and the Armed Forces Chamber. Hi, I'm Hunter Kane. March 25th is observed as Medal of Honor Day. Some ask, hey Hunter, what's the Medal of Honor? The Medal of Honor is the United States Armed Forces' highest military decoration. It is only awarded to soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, and guardians who have risked their lives going above the call of duty. On behalf of my fellow veterans, I wish a happy Medal of Honor Day to all recipients from Hunter Kane in the Armed Forces Chamber. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by The Haynes Company. You have the power to seal eviction records, and The Haynes Company is here for you. The Haynes Company seals eviction records. Help is available by phone at 833-HAINES-7. That's 833-429-6377. The Haynes Company is not an attorney and cannot provide legal advice or representation. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by the Vietnam War Veterans Day event plus the Armed Forces Chamber. The Vietnam War Veterans Day event features a special ceremony and 25 veteran service providers. On Friday, March 29th at the Fraternal Order of Eagles, presented by the Hospice Veteran Partnership and Vietnam Veterans of America. Underwriting on KUMV is provided by Dr. Erica Smith and the Armed Forces Chamber. Hi, I'm Dr. Erica Smith. The month of March is observed as Women's History Month. Some ask Dr. Erica Smith, what is Women's History Month? Women's History Month celebrates the contributions women have made to the United States and recognize the specific achievements women have made over the course of American history. Happy Women's History Month from Dr. Erica Smith and the Armed Forces Chamber. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by the Happiest Hour and Networking Event, plus the Armed Forces Chamber. The Happiest Hour and Networking Event is a B2B networking event that features over 30 local business organizations supporting local business. On Friday, March 22nd, at the Noy Pitts Bar and Grill, located inside Town Square, brought to you by Invictus Consulting, and now we return to Armed Forces Chamber Live! This episode of Armed Forces Chamber Live is sponsored by Drone Video Photography, LLC, a veteran-owned business specializing in construction and real estate, video and photography, and video production. Drone Video Photography, LLC, is online at Drone Video Photography, LLC.com. That's Drone Video Photography, LLC.com. My name is Walt Myrie with the Air Force Wounded Warrior Program. What is the purpose of the Air Force and Marine Corps trial that you're holding here in Las Vegas? Yeah, we are very excited to be hosting the Air Force and Marine Corps trials there in Las Vegas. I mean, it's really an opportunity for people who have um, experienced turbulence or are going through recovery for injuries uh, sustained um, to put into practice the adaptive sports that they've been engaging with and to compete um, against other members who are classified in the same way, whether it's, you know, a physical injury. Um, there's there's different classifications that they will compete in across 11 different sports to uh, vie for a spot on the Air Force or the Marine Corps team that will ultimately end up uh, competing at the DOD Warrior Games against all the other branches of service. So it's an exciting time for all these people who are gonna be here in Las Vegas with us. How is it different from previous years? So typically the Air Force has its own Air Force trials. The Marine Corps would have the Marine Corps trials, the Navy would have the Navy trials, and the Army would have the Army trials. Um, this year, we, you know, we had an opportunity to do some collaboration with the United States Marine Corps. So we're gonna be doing a, a combined trials where we will both be um, 
participating and competing, the Warriors will to get spots on the teams. And then we'll actually be announcing those who are selected to participate in the DOD Warrior Games as part of those teams at the end of the event on 14 March. So we're really excited. It's, you know, it's almost a first full circle moment for us. Um, a decade ago, the Marine Corps uh, really kind of showed us the way and how to do this thing. And now the Air Force uh, is hosting with the Marine Corps and doing this thing together. So it's it's really very exciting. It's good to be uh, be connected with our Marine Corps brothers and sisters for sure. How many athletes will be attending the event? And can you tell us a little bit about what they will participate in while they are here? Yeah, so we'll, we'll have upwards of about 250 athletes on the ground um, competing in, in those 11 different sports. And, you know, we haven't really talked about the sports piece uh, in detail yet, but there's eight individual sports, three team sports uh, for a combined total of 11. So they'll be participating in shooting, in archery, in swimming, um, in cycling, in powerlifting, in rowing competitions. And then our team sports, they'll be competing in wheelchair basketball and rugby uh, and sitting volleyball, not to mention track and field. So um, they're going to be very busy over the course of a two-week period that we're here in Las Vegas. And we're going to have about 250 people on the ground doing that, um, about 100 and 110 from the Air Force, uh, about 70 Marines. We actually have the opportunity to work with some of our international partners this year. So we're going to be uh, bringing in some of the uh, folks from the Ukraine. And we're going to see their athletes here. And we'll see some athletes from the country of Georgia competing uh, as well. So we're really excited to bring this uh, connection together. We will be right back with more of Armed Forces Chamber Live. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by the Armed Forces Chamber of Commerce. Since 2017, the Armed Forces Chamber has served veterans, service members, and their families. Members of the Armed Forces Chamber enjoy help with certifications, education, funding, marketing, networking, and so much more. Membership is open to everyone. Details online at armedforceschamber.com. That's armedforceschamber.com. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by Hunter Kane and the Armed Forces Chamber. Hi, I'm Hunter Kane. March 25th is observed as Medal of Honor Day. Some ask, hey Hunter, what's the Medal of Honor? The Medal of Honor is the United States Armed Forces' highest military decoration. It is only awarded to soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, and guardians who have risked their lives going above the call of duty. On behalf of my fellow veterans, I wish a happy Medal of Honor Day to all recipients from Hunter Kane in the Armed Forces Chamber. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by The Haynes Company. You have the power to seal eviction records, and The Haynes Company is here for you. The Haynes Company seals eviction records. Help is available by phone at 833-HAYNES-7. That's 833-429-6377. The Haynes Company is not an attorney and cannot provide legal advice or representation. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by the Vietnam War Veterans Day event plus the Armed Forces Chamber. The Vietnam War Veterans Day event features a special ceremony and 25 veteran service providers. On Friday, March 29th at the Fraternal Order of Eagles, presented by the Hospice Veteran Partnership and Vietnam Veterans of America, Underwriting on KUMV is provided by Dr. Erica Smith and the Armed Forces Chamber. Hi, I'm Dr. Erica Smith. The month of March is observed as Women's History Month. Some ask Dr. Erica Smith, what is Women's History Month? Women's History Month celebrates the contributions women have made to the United States and recognize the specific achievements women have made over the course of American history. Happy Women's History Month from Dr. Erica Smith and the Armed Forces Chamber. Underwriting on KUNV is provided by the Happiest Hour and Networking Event, plus the Armed Forces Chamber. The Happiest Hour and Networking Event is a B2B networking event that features over 30 local business organizations supporting local business. On Friday, March 22nd, at the Noy Pitts Bar and Grill, located inside Town Square, brought to you by Invictus Consulting, and now we return to 
Armed Forces Chamber, live! This episode of Armed Forces Chamber Live is sponsored by Drone Video Photography, LLC, a veteran-owned business specializing in construction and real estate, video and photography, and video production. Drone Video Photography, LLC, is online at Drone Video Photography, LLC.com. That's Drone Video Photography, LLC.com. My name is Walt Myrie with the Air Force Wounded Warrior Program. You have athletes coming from Ukraine and Georgia. Is this the first time you've, you've all hosted competitors from foreign countries? So we, the Air Force has worked with uh, with international teams before. Um, we worked with the uh, the Brits last year and the Ukraine, or excuse me, the Georgians last year as well. And it, you know, when the opportunity presents itself to uh, to come together um, and and understand that healing has no borders, that's what we're going to try and do. So it's it's a great opportunity to showcase what we do to help our international partners along with their programs. Um, and really see some amazing competition. So we're very excited. How can those listening in the local area see some of the competition? So in addition to the opportunities to observe some of the competitions and the meddling ceremonies, we're going to be hosting an opening ceremony on the morning of 8 March. Um, and it's going to be a fantastic event uh, starting at 0800. So any, anybody who's got the Access they need to get on base is welcome to attend that. It'll be held behind the fitness center there at Nellis Air Force Base. What would you personally like everyone to know about the program and or the trials happening here in Las Vegas? That's a really good question, Andre. And, and there's so many important things to know and understand about what we do within the program, uh, providing care beyond duty, right? That's our motto with the Air Force's Wounded Warrior Program is to provide care beyond uh, duty. Um, but, but it's really a personal connection. And when you have the opportunity to engage with people who are wounded, ill, and injured uh, and help them through that transition piece, hopefully back to service, because that's our number one objective is to get people back to work uh, for the Air Force. And, but sometimes they have to transition back into the communities they came from. So making that connection becomes important as well. Uh, but really the, the opportunity to come alongside and serve people who are so worthy uh, it's, it's just a blessing. Um, when I retired back in 2010, I did it when I wanted to on my terms. Uh, when I selected, I, I was living where I was going to live. And I still found it to be a difficult transition. I can only imagine what it feels like to be uh, put in a situation where you're transitioning at a point not of your choosing under circumstances that are obviously less than ideal for every one of these warriors that we will engage I'm there in Las Vegas, so I really applaud their efforts, and it's uh, it's just a blessing to be able to come alongside and support them through a really challenging part of their life and watch them be resurgent in their recovery. Um, you know, coming out different, but most often better than they were before. Would you like to share some advice or words of inspiration? I would, and and thank you for the opportunity to do that, Andre. I um, I would like to tell people just to keep on going. Right. You just you have to keep taking baby steps. Um, you will get there. The only constant in life is change. And you can you can really do the good things for yourself. You just have to be persistent. You have to overcome the barriers. You have to overcome the challenges. Um, ask for help when you need it. Uh, and be ready to help others. And, and, you know, I think if you apply those principles in your life, you just keep going. You're there to help other people. You're ready to ask for help when it's needed. Um, I think you'll be successful ultimately through any challenge. So I would just encourage people to do that. Stick with it. This is Armed Forces Chamber Live. Yo, listen up. It's a tale of success. A radio talk show. No need to guess. Salute and success. Hosted by the best. Andre Hing, Pats and Brown. Put your hands to your chest. Tune in. You are listening to Armed Forces Chamber Live, hosted by Andre Haynes and Patsy Brown. If you are interested 
in advertising, or being interviewed on Armed Forces Chamber Live, info is available by phone at 702-518-8847 and online at armedforceschamber.com. Again, that's 702-518-8847 and online at armedforceschamber.com. Thanks for listening to Armed Forces Chamber Live.